it's Jen from Polk County Public Libraries and I'm here with this month's board game demo for Guillotine. So we have um, around 40 or 50 board games in our collection that you can check out and each month I do a demo video to kind of explain how to play each game. Um, so Guillotine is sent during the French Revolution. We all know what a guillotine is. It was used to chop off people's heads. So obviously this is not a game for kids. This is a game for adults um, or teens or anyone who has an understanding um, of that. It says ages 12 and up on the game. It is called the revolutionary card game where you win by getting ahead. Um, so the theme is a little uh, gruesome, but it's one that I think is fun. It's one of uh, the easier games we have in our collection. It's for two to five players and takes about 15 to 30 minutes, just depending how the game goes. So you have two decks of cards. One has uh, yellow on the front, and that is the noble deck. There are 50 cards in that deck. And then you have the cards with white on the back, and that is the action deck. All right, so the background story for this game. Heads are going to roll, lots of them, and you want to earn top bragging rights back in the guillotine operator's locker room. If you behead Marie Antoinette or King Louis, everyone will be impressed, but who's going to care if you lop off a palace guard's head? So make sure you collect the most prestigious noggins and you'll be head and shoulders above the rest. Lots of nice puns in that description. So the object of the game is to collect the most points by beheading important nobles. Play is divided into three days. On each day, 12 nobles are lined up to await their turn at the guillotine. Players take turns playing action cards from their hands, possibly rearranging the order of the line and then collecting nobles from the front of the line. At the end of the third day, whoever has the most points wins. So to set up, you're gonna shuffle the deck separately. You're gonna deal five action cards to each player. So remember, this is for two to five players. I'll pretend like there are two of us. And deal us five action cards each. Then there will be a draw pile. All right. So the beginning of the first day is where you start. You're gonna line up, uh-oh, my guillotine fell over. Let me get it back. You're gonna line up 12 nobles in line for the guillotine. So whichever card is closest is considered the front of the line. So one, ooh, that's a good one. Two, three, four, five, six, move this up. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Make sure you have a big table for doing this. All right, you might not be able to see all of this in the video, but <clears throat> there are 12 cards lined up, and I'm lining it up so hopefully you guys can see it. It's facing in your direction. All right, you randomly choose the first player, and they go. All right, so on your turn, I've played this a lot, but I wanna make sure I have the rules correctly. You can optionally choose to play an action card. Action cards help you rearrange the order of the nobles in line or the characters in line. So you wanna have the most points at the end. So right now, Marie Antoinette is first in line. She's worth five points. That's the most points that any character is worth. You might not want to take an action card because you just want to take Marie Antoinette. Um, there are some cards that are with negative points. You don't want to get those. And then there are some like the palace guard. So the palace, each palace guard is worth the number of points equal to the number of palace guards in your score pile. So if you have one, it's worth one. If you have two, they're worth two each for a total of four. If you have three, they're worth three each for a total of nine, etc. I'm gonna go through the deck real quick. Nope, that's not the deck. Just see if there's any other special ones I wanna tell you about. Now, if they are special, they'll have writing on them, so make sure to um, read, read the writing. So this one 
You choose an action card from your hand and discard it after you collect this noble. Still not great because you're going to get negative one points. Uh, this one, collect an additional noble from the front of the line after you collect this noble. So if this one's at the front, you got to pay attention to what's behind it because you're also going to get that. Um, so if it has writing on it, just make sure you read it before you collect it from the front of the line or before you use one of your action cards to change the order. Um, and I'll tell you about some of the action cards. So this one says, move a noble forward exactly four places in line. So let's pretend... The cards were dealt out this way, dealt out this way, and you want the five point Marie Antoinette. Well, you would play this card that says move a noble forward exactly four places in line. One, two, three, four, and then you get to collect her. So you have to use your action card strategically to collect the best um, card. This one says move a noble forward up to two places in line, a purple noble. Move a red noble up to two places in line. Um, there'll be ones where you can move them backwards. So basically you're gonna choose, do you wanna play a card, an action card from your hand? If so, you play it, do what it says, and then collect the first noble in front of the guillotine. All right, whether or not you played an action card, you get to draw another one at the end of your turn, and then it passes to the next person. All right, so after you collect all the nobles, it's the end of the day. The day goes over three, or the game goes over three different days, so you'll deal out 12 more nobles, finish that day, deal out 12 more, finish that day, and then the game is finished, and you count up your cards and see who won. Hope you guys have fun.